Hello again, it's been a while. Have you been? Keeping well, I hope. We've been away in the land of Zoom and conferences and Twitch, but we're back now, and we're jonesing for new mobile games to play. Which is handy, because there's five of them in this video. As always, we're not counting games from Apple Arcade, Google Play Pass, Game Club, or Hatch. These are new games you can download or buy without subscriptions. From tile-based collectible card game battlers to zombie physics games and fantastic ports of award-winning ARPGs, we've got some good stuff for you today. Let's take a look. A few years back, there was a surge of games using foxes as protagonists, but one of the prettiest games amongst that list was The First Tree. It's a gorgeous, atmospheric offering which follows two stories. The first is a fox trying to find her missing family, and the second is a son trying to reconnect with his father. This one successfully blends emotional story beats with a novel premise, lovely, frosty environments, and a lush soundtrack. The simple controls really translate to touchscreen as well. Perhaps a little slow-paced and thoughtful for some, but it's a good port of a good game. Delight The Journey Home tells the story of a blind girl called Sammy and a stray dog that she befriends. You have to guide them both as they try to survive a war-torn city and find their way back to her parents. The world reflects Sammy's perspective, with your screen mostly black for chunks of the gameplay, and you have to use her imagination to help fill in the gaps. But with the arrival of her pooch pal, she is better able to navigate the world, and players use the talents of each character to solve puzzles. We've only spent a short time with it, but we think it's unique and definitely one to consider. We've mentioned Book of Beasts a fair few times this year on PG, and for good reason. It's a clever fusion of a tile placement game with a CCG game. Think Card City Knights or Final Fantasy VIII's Triple Triad, where directional placement is essential to victory. Drag tiles onto the board and then connect matching elements to score points. There's much more going on though, both in the collectible card game element and a spell system. We've played a bunch of this one, and it's a lot of fun, especially against real humans. Easy to pick up, free to download, and well worth a look. The second PC and console game ported to mobile this week, Moonlighter is one that we've been watching for a while. Not least because the development team has done an amazing job of switching out mouse and keyboard or controller for touchscreen, with some genuinely clever changes to make its ARPG nighttime sections feel dynamic and tight. You balance roguelike dungeon crawling with shop management, in what is a clever distillation of the battle, loot, sell, and repeat loop. It is legit great, and though it's at the more expensive end of the mobile game price bracket, we reckon it's great value considering both the quality and the replayability. Why well, yes, there are a lot of Bridge Constructor games. We suspect one reason is it's a game you can easily slap a popular license on and re-release, but it's also because the touchscreen physics gameplay has been tweaked to perfection by the developers and they're not afraid to tinker with new ideas. Sure, the IP might seem a little tired, but there are changes for this Walking Dead themed offering. You've got to issue instructions to survivors on the field, meaning they can flip switches and activate traps, provided your bridge is strong enough to guide them to that switch. It's more of what you like with a little undead icing on top, and it's just fun watching zombies fall into pits or get crushed under metal crates. The heart wants what it wants. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please ring bells and subscribe and all that business because we'd love to keep doing this and we need your help to do so. We've got more great games lists on the channel, so go and find those and we'll be back again next week with more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.